What's up guys, my name is Kason and today I'm going to share with you the best Black Friday camera deals of 2018. Alright, so the good news for anyone that is a beginner and starting to get into photography, there are many bundles that will fit your needs. If you already own a camera and you're looking to upgrade, this might be a good time to do that. You have the Canon 80D that's on sale, you have the D750 full frame Nikon, and you also have the A7 II full frame Sony. So starting off, um, so Sony, Canon, and Nikon all have their version of like a starter kit basically. So Sony has their A6000, a mirrorless camera, 16 to 50 millimeter lens, and a 55 to 210 lens. However, um, this was released in 2014, so it's an older model. It has some battery life issues, and it also has some overheating issues if you try to record for a long period of time. But on the A6000, it's a 24 megapixel crop sensor. Uh, it has a three inch tilting screen. It's not, uh, it's not articulating, but it will flip up and down some. Um, it has Wi-Fi, 1080p video, 11 frames per second. And that was $599 and you're getting $250 off for of that. And it comes with a free bag and memory card. All right, so now for the Canon Rebel T7i. It's $300 off and that's down to $899. It's also a 24 megapixel. APS-C sensor. It does have a fully articulating screen. It has six frames per second, still a 1080p video. Still has built-in Wi-Fi, and the battery life is much better. It's rated for 600 shots, versus in the A6000, you get 300 shots, I believe. Yeah, so that's the T7i, because of the 18 to 55 and the 55 to 250, um, the bag and the memory card, so that'd be a good starter kit. Now onto Nikon's deal. They have a, a D3500, with 1855, 7300 bag and memory card also. And theirs is $350 off, which brings it to $499. So it is the cheaper of all the deals. And with that, you're still getting the 24 megapixel crop sensor. It's the same sensor that's in the other cameras. You get a fixed screen on that, so it's not articulating. But you do get five frames per second. You still get 1080p video. The only downside of that is if you want to, you know, like make YouTube videos, or if you want to do any type of video with a microphone, this doesn't have a microphone jack, so you can't plug an external mic onto the top of your camera. Um, besides that, it's a great beginner photography camera. You get 11 autofocus points. You get a battery life that is 1,550 shots. So there's a great battery life on that. But yeah, I guess the downside is the mic and the articulating screen. Uh, very briefly, so the G7X is just a great lightweight camera if you try to do some vlogging or something like that. It is $100 off, so you can get that for $599. Okay, also real quick, if you want to go pick up the an Instax Mini 9, you can get those $20 off for $50, and it comes with a free film. Also, memory cards, there will be good deals on those. Alright, the next camera I'll be talking about is the D5600 from Nikon. It also comes with the same 18-55 to and the 70-300 to lens that the D3500 is going to come with. So basically, all the 5600 is, is an upgrade from the 3500 and the fact that it has more autofocus points. It has a mic jack so you can put an external microphone on it. And it also has an articulating screen if you want to do any vlogging or video. What I started making videos on this channel with was a D5300. So it's the older model of that. But as you can see, it has an articulating screen. Um, it's been a great camera for everything I've used it for. So yeah, I would recommend that for sure. Also, I'll have all the links in the description for these below. All right, moving on, the next step up from the 5600 in the Nikon line is the D7200. It comes with the same kit lens that the other two do. Basically with that, you're still getting the 24 megapixel crop sensor. This, you're getting a fixed screen, so it's not tilting or articulating. Um, you get six frames per second, 1080p video, um, wireless. However, this one's weather sealed where the other ones aren't. So maybe if you're doing a lot of like outdoor photography, wildlife photography, and you need something a little bit more durable and weather sealed, then maybe this would be a good option for you. Uh, you're getting 51 autofocus points. Uh, you get two uh, memory card slots, so if you do need more storage, then you can always go with this. And that's $200 off, and will be $9.99. All right, so Canon has their ADD on sale, $600 off, and that it will be $1,199. Comes with a free bag, a memory card, and the 18 to 135 lens. So in the ADD, what you're getting is a 24 megapixel crop sensor. With this, you're getting the fully articulating screen. So a lot of people have used this for vlogging. You get seven frames per second, 1080p video, wireless. It's also weather sealed. The battery life is rated for 960 shots, so you're good on battery life. Yeah, so that's a good camera if you're looking to upgrade or if you just want to come in and buy a really good camera. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go to the two full frame cameras that are on sale. All right, so first you have the Nikon D750. It comes with a 24 to 120 lens and it comes with a free battery grip. So with the 750, you're getting a full frame sensor, but you're still getting 24 megapixels. You're getting a tilting screen, six and a half uh, frames per second. You do get 1080p video still. It is weather sealed. You do have the two slots, so a lot of people use this camera for wedding photography because it's full frame and it has all these features that makes it good for that. You have 51 autofocus points. I would say that the main downside of this camera is it can be a little big, especially with the grip that comes on it, but the battery life on here says 1,230 shots, so with the battery grip, you're getting almost double that. So if you want to go to the full frame side, that would be a good option for you. However, if you want something that's a little bit smaller, also full frame, right now, Sony has their a7 II, which is an older version of their a7 III, $600 off for $999. Comes with a 28 to 70 millimeter lens. So with this compared to the D750, you're still getting the full frame sensor, you're still getting 24 megapixels, you get five frames per second, you're still getting 1080p video, built-in wireless, and it's weather sealed. You do get a tilting screen on this. Also with this, you have 117 autofocus points. The body is almost half the weight of the D750. And because this and the 750 are both full frame, they'll both be better in low light than the other cameras I mentioned. The only downside to the a7 II is the battery life is not as good and it's rated for 350 shots. But if you are worried about that, you can either get extra batteries or you can buy a battery grip for it and it will last much longer. Uh, and I have checked Target and Walmart's Black Friday deals and they have the same deals and a lot less options than Best Buy. So I'm just going with Best Buy's prices because you have more options to choose from. If you're looking for your first camera or maybe looking to upgrade, I highly recommend going into Best Buy and checking out what they have. Real quick, I want to throw in a side note. If you're looking for a drone, the Mavic Air Fly More Kit is $100 off, and the Spark is $40 off, and the Parrot is $150 off. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more like it, please leave a like below, comment, tell me what you're thinking about getting. Please consider hitting the subscribe button below. I'll post weekly videos about things like this. I wish you all the best on Black Friday. Don't get in any fights. If you're able to get one Thanksgiving night, go ahead and get it out of the way. If not, then good luck on Friday. Like I said, my name is Kason. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.